Just you, just you. Like a lone ranger, not a stranger. I ain't scared of danger. My savior was born in a manger. Nappy head driver, that's me. Uncle Nappy, deliver the mail so you won't go to hell. Nappy head driver, oh yeah, nappy head driver. You can't tell me to stop. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, praise God. You know, we're going to get straight to the point. Amen. You know, praise God. So many people are going through so many changes and people are not understanding who they are and where they're going and can't find identity. Praise God. Come to church messed up. Leave church messed up. Praise God. Oh, my God. Come to church. Praise God. They're asking you for a tip. Come on now. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. I heard the spirit of the Lord say, pastors, let my people go. Come on now. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. Pastors, let my people go. Come on now. We're holding too many people in bondage. Praise God. Oh, my God. You ain't ready. Praise God. Everything depends on your approval. We're supposed to, praise God, be instrumental in drawing man to God and not drawing man to us. Come on now. I don't know if that's your husband or that's your wife. We can pray about it, but I'm not one to say. Come on now. Hallelujah. But let God say who's who. He said what he put together. He didn't say what your pastor put together. See, we don't even know how to get together. Come on now. Oh, my God. The world can go sit down. They can go sit down and eat at McDonald's and not think about no boot action. Praise God. Oh, my God. But my God, we can't even go to quick. We can't even go to 7-Eleven, praise God, to get a pot together and not worry about what the pastor may think or what the minister may think, who may see us everything let me tell you something if you're con that deeply concerned you are in bondage come on now because see no man knows everything praise god from god hallelujah oh my god there's not enough wisdom in man praise god to know the plans of god to know everything about god about everybody come on now we don't know anything if you really want to get to it and he that think that he is wise let him become a fool that he may know you come to god as if you don't know and he will give you some information praise god but pastors let my people go. Let's go to Jeremiah 3, 5 through 16, 5, 3, 15 and 16. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. We're talking about pastors letting the people go. Amen. They don't belong to you. They belong to God. Hallelujah. You have no right to control. Come on now. You have no right to hold back. All you're supposed to do is give instruction. Praise God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Because everybody's working their own salvation out. The reason why we don't have enough truth on the scene is because the pastors have not let God's people go. Oh my God. Peter and them went with a testimony. Paul went with a testimony. Jesus sent the disciples out two by two. Praise God. Before he left. Praise God. Oh my God. And when they came back, they didn't need anything. Oh, my God, but hallelujah, you're sending them out your church, praise God. They need everything, praise God. They need spiritual, physical, hallelujah, mental needs. Huh? Because, my God, they had a little bit of sense when they came in there. Huh? But when they left your service, come on, you hypocrite. Huh? Oh, my God, hallelujah, when they left out of there, they was messed up even more so because seven spirits that came and took over. Come on now, pastors, let my people go. Huh? I hear the Lord saying, praise God, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding understanding and it shall come to pass when you be multiplied and increased in the land in those days said the Lord they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord neither shall it come to mind neither shall they remember it neither shall they visit it neither shall that be done anymore come on now he said he will give pastors from his heart come on now hallelujah oh he didn't say according to the Bible Institute he didn't say unto according to the Bible College he said he will give pastors according to his heart how you want to know if that pastor's for real look for the heart 
of God in him, praise God. Oh, we can talk about love all day. Oh, but my God, on Monday, is love still available? Come on now. If I call you at 3 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, can I get some love? If I call you in Wednesday in the afternoon, can you show brother some love, praise God? Let my people go, Pastor. Let God have it. Hallelujah. Quit trying to be God. Quit getting in the way of God. Do what you've been called to do. A shepherd don't own the sheep. He works for the master that owns the sheep. Let my people go, saith the Lord. He said, give your pastors after his own heart. Come on now, hallelujah, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Oh, my God. See, some of y'all so deep. Hallelujah. So deep people not even getting saved anymore. You so deep people not even getting delivered no more. Come on. They come in your church a crackhead. Hallelujah. Leave out one. Come on now. I'm telling you what I know. Hallelujah. They come in there an alcoholic and leave one. Oh, my God. They come in there pimping and then took some of the scissors because they still pimping. What are you feeding them? What kind of knowledge and understanding are you giving? them. Why is Sister Honey Bun still a whore after she left out your door? Come on now. Pastors, let my people go. Come on now. Hallelujah. Let's go to Jeremiah 20, 23, is it? Yes, 23, 1 through 4. Come on now. Hallelujah. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, of my pasture saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and have driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord, and I will gather the rem remnant of my flock out of all the countries which I have driven them and will bring them again to their foes. And they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Oh, my God, what have you been feeding the people? That they are fearful. Come on now. I, I can't go over here and to this musical because I'm afraid that my pastor won't like it. Well, see what didn't happen is. Y'all didn't put so much fear that they may miss God. Oh, my God, they looking to you as God. And that's not the way it is. Come on now. He said fruitful and increase. Oh, the congregation. Congregation is supposed to have just as much as the pastor if you really want to know what time it is. Huh? Because he's supposed to be feeding them the knowledge and wisdom and understanding where they can come up. Come on now, hallelujah. Oh, my God, where they can stop doing the wicked things huh, that they're doing to get money, praise God. And they can see a far better, more exceedingly way through the pastor if the pastor is, at, is one from God's heart. See, so that lets me know that everybody up there was not sent for God. He said, woe be, uh, be unto the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep of my place. You are destroying, praise God. Oh, my God, because your ego, your way is in the way. Come on now, hallelujah. Pastors, let my people go, saith the Lord. He said he'll gather in. See, God don't need you if you're tripping. He'll take them out. He'll take them out of each church, praise God, and gather and start a new remnant. Come on now. Hallelujah. But see, y'all been telling people that God ain't moving that way. He ain't moving it like y'all got a lock on God. Oh, my God, what I found out is you really don't know by trying to profess that you do know. Come on now. Hallelujah. He said, woe unto the pastors. Come on. He talking to somebody out here. Oh, my God. Pastors, let my people go. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 61 and 4. Let's see what the purpose, what's supposed to be going on. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of the vengeance of our God, to comfort all them more. He did not call you to be a politician. Come on now. Oh, my God, you're playing. You're, you're laying in the bed with politics. Come on now. Hallelujah. Just whoring around with politicians. Come on now. Hallelujah. Trying to get some money. Oh, my God. But I heard in the word of God it says that the love of money is the root of all evil so if that pastor is loving money let me tell you there's some evil going on you've got to let my people go hallelujah oh in this hour ain't nobody playing hallelujah hell has somebody's name the bible says that hell has enlarged itself that means God and added on some rooms oh my God for these pastors that he's saying woe to that's destroying the flock that's scattering the flock ain't no need to sitting up there lying if you don't know get in the word and find out do not mislead the flock let my people go pastors that's what the word of god is saying oh let's go to revelations hallelujah we still got some time let's go to revelations praise god hallelujah oh let's go praise god into the third chapter 
Hallelujah. Oh, my God, hallelujah. Let my people go. Oh, my God, hallelujah. See, hallelujah, time is running out. But you've got to let go so God can have his way. We'll continue this, but pastors, let my people go. Yeah.